When doing a complete water change and harvest on copepods, you need mesh sieves, sterilized salt water, clean container, food, and clean paper towels. We're harvesting tick pods today. The adult copepods tend to be in the top layer, and babies tend to like the mulm layer. Let's get started. Take the lid and the airline tubing off. We'll run the culture through a 250 micron sieve, a 120 micron sieve, and a 53 micron sieve. Because these copepods live in tide pools, I don't worry too much about pouring them through the sieves. You'll see some adults swimming in the top layer. Once you've poured out all of the culture, rinse the jar with hot water a couple times and wipe it clean with a paper towel. The 250 micron sieve will have the adult copepods and big clumps of waste. Rinse with clean salt water, turn the sieve over, and pour through into a collection cup for your harvest. I poured mine through into a plastic cup that we'll look at later. In the 120 micron sieve you'll find babies, juveniles, smaller adults, and small clumps of waste. You can see them moving around, and there's kind of a weird shimmer. Rinse these the best you can, and then later we'll return them to the culture vessel. Toss the 53 micron layer as it's mostly waste with these copepods. Pour 1500 milliliters of sterilized salt water. Flush the contents of the 120 micron sieve back into the clean jar. Add some phytoplankton until it's a light color. I was a little heavy handed. I like to add a few pregnant females back as an insurance policy. Replace the lid and connect it back to the air pump. I clean my sieves by rinsing them thoroughly with hot water. One reason we only harvested the adults is because they're reported to eat their babies. This is our harvest. Pour it into a bottle or your aquarium and enjoy.